हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेथड ऑफ स्पीयरमन्स रैंक कोरिलेशन कोइफिशिएंट टू फाइंड आउट कोरिलेशन कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ द गिवन डेटा वी विल आल्सो सी एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन इट सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज दिस मेथड स्पीयरमन्स रैंक कोरिलेशन कोइफिशिएंट इज यूजुअली डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल लेटर आर एंड इज डिफाइंड एज पर द फॉलोइंग केसेस इन केस 1 we see how to find coefficient correlation if the ranks of the values of the variable are all distinct in nature in that case r is given by 1 minus 6 into summation di square upon n cube minus n where di square is given by r xi minus r y i whole square where r xi denotes ranks of the values of the first variable say x and r y i denotes rank of the values of the second variable y and n is usually the number of data values in each variable in case 2 we will discuss the rank correlation coefficient if the ranks of the values of the variable are all not distinct in fact some of them are repeated or equal in that case r is given by 1 minus 6 into summation di square plus 1 by 12 into m1 cube minus m1 plus 1 by 12 m2 cube minus m2 and so on whole divided by n cube minus n once again here n means number of data values di square stands for rxi minus ryi whole square and this mi denotes the number of values having equal or repeated ranks i hope you understood these formulas now we will proceed to learn how to assign ranks to the values of the given variable note that ranking is achieved by giving ranking 1 to the smallest number in the data set then 2 to the second smallest and then so on one can do it in opposite way also that means you can assign a rank 1 to the biggest number in the data set then 2 to the second biggest number in the data set and so on so according to the my style the biggest value in the column or the data set will be having lowest ranking note that some of the values in the data set may be repeated in that case we will give the mean rank or the average rank to such values let us understand this concept using an example ranking of the below data set can be given as follows consider this data set of x x takes values 100 80 40 60 20 15 and 80 now here rx denotes ranks to these values of x as i said here we are going to label rank 1 to the smallest most number in the data set so i see here the smallest most number in the data set is 15 so we assign rank 1 to 15 then second smallest number is 20 so we assign rank 2 then we assign rank 3 to 40 then we assign rank 4 to 60 the next smallest number is 80 but i see 80 is repeated twice i am supposed to assign next rank as 5 and 6 so average of these two ranks is 5.5 so we assign rank 5.5 to this number as well as this number in this way then next rank will be 7 which we will assign to the last or the biggest number in the data set so this 100 will have rank 7 i hope guys you understood how to label or assign ranks to the values in the given data set now let us proceed with some real examples in this example we are asked to calculate spearman's rank correlation coefficient from the following data so here i see we are given data values for x and y each set consists of five values 1 2 3 4 5 so here n is 5 now let us first find ranks of values of each variable then we find the differences between these ranks we compute these things in the following calculation table so we prepare this kind of table in which first column will be serial number second and fourth column is data values of x and y third and fifth columns are corresponding ranks of x and y values 
and the last column is square of difference between the ranks of x and y at the bottom we are finding sum of the squares of differences of every rank so look at here how we are doing this so first we put data values of x and y here now we will give ranks to the values of x here smallest value is 12 so i assign rank 1 to 12 second smallest value is 18 so i assign rank 2 to 18 the next smallest value is 20 so i assign rank 3 to 20 then for next value we will assign rank 4 and then for the biggest value we will assign last rank which is 5 same thing we are going to do for y values here smallest most value is 18 so we assign rank 1 to 18 second smallest value is 23 so we assign rank 2 to 23 then next smallest value is 35 so we assign rank 3 to 35 and so on and in last column we will find out square of the differences of these ranks so here i see 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and minus 2 square is 4 so we write 4 here 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1 square is 1 so we write 1 here similarly 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 square is 1 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 square is 16 similarly 1 minus 5 is minus 4 and minus 4 square is 16 so this is how di squares are calculated finally we add all these values of di square to get summation di square is equal to 38 now let us carry forward these values so here we have summation di square is equal to 38 and n is equal to 5 since none of the values of the variables are repeated so we have to use first formula of spearman's rank correlation coefficient to find out correlation coefficient according to which r is given by 1 minus 6 into summation di square upon n cube minus n let us feed values into this formula summation di square is 38 and n is 5 so we have 1 minus 6 into 38 upon 125 minus 5 using your calculator you can find this is equal to minus 0 0.9 so spearman's rank correlation coefficient for the given data is minus 0 0.9 i hope guys you understood this example now let us proceed for next one once again we are asked to calculate spearman's rank correlation coefficient from the given data so this data consists of values of x and y let us proceed to the solution we first compute the ranks of each variable and then we find its differences in the following table so this is the table of calculations here we wrote values of x and values of y their corresponding ranks are given here i see none of the numbers or none of the values of x are repeated so all the ranks are distinct same thing is happening at y none of the value is repeated so all the ranks are distinct it is easier to find out the difference between the rank and its square and finally we find summation di square at the bottom which is 228 here let us carry forward this data note that here n is 9 and summation di square is 228 since ranks of the values are all distinct we will use first formula of spearman's rank correlation coefficient which is r is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation di square upon n cube minus n let us substitute values for n and summation di square so after using calculator we see r is equal to minus 0 0.9 so spearman's rank correlation coefficient for this data is minus 0 0.9 i hope guys you understood this example now let us proceed for the next one here we are given marks in paper 1 and paper 2 of few students we are asked to calculate a rank correlation coefficient from the given data let us proceed for the solution first of all we will compute ranks of these values 
and then we will find their differences in the following calculation table. So we prepare this calculation table. In the second column, we write values of x. In fourth column, we write values of y. Now let us take a look at a ranks of x. Here, smallest most value is 25. So we assign rank 1 to 25. The second smallest value is 36. So we assign rank 2 to 36. The next smallest most value is 45. But 45 is repeated two times. And we are supposed to assign ranks 3 and 4 here. So we will take average of these two ranks, which is 3.5. So we assign rank 3.5 to these two numbers. The next smallest most number is 52. And the next rank in the queue is 5. So we assign rank 5 to 52. Then we assign 6 to 63, 7 to 65 and 8 to 72. Now coming on to ranks of y. Here none of the value of y is repeated. So ranks of y are going to be distinct. Smallest most value of y is 25. So we assign rank 1 to 25. Then next smallest value is 33. So we assign rank 2 to 33. Similarly, we assign rank 3 to 43 and so on. Finally, we find the differences of these two ranks and its square. So I see here 5 minus 7 is minus 2, minus 2 square is 4. 6 minus 5 is 1 and 1 square is 1. 3.5 minus 4 is minus 0 0.5 and its square is 0 0.25 and so on and at the bottom we will calculate sum of all these di squares so we find summation di square is 29.5 and n is 8 let us use this data to find out rank correlation coefficient since some of the ranks are repeated so we have to use the second formula of spearman's rank correlation coefficient according to which r is given by 1 minus 6 into summation di square plus 1 by 12 m1 cube minus m1 plus 1 by 12 m2 cube minus m2 and so on whole divided by n cube minus n. Note that here mi denotes the number of values having same rank and we have seen that there are two values of third and fourth rank in x series which have equal ranks. Therefore, we will assign m1 is equal to 2 and since there is no other repeated rank, m2, m3, m4 will be 0. Now let us substitute values of m1, n and summation di square in this formula. So we get r is equal to 1 minus 6 into 29.5 plus 1 by 12 into 2 cube minus 2 whole divided by 8 cube minus 8. Using your calculator, you can solve this. We see this is equal to 0.6423. This is rank correlation coefficient for the given data. Now let us proceed for last example. Here we are asked to calculate rank correlation coefficient from the following data. Let us first calculate a ranks of every value of these data and then we will find their differences. We will use this calculation table. In this column, we are writing values of x. Over here, we are writing values of y. Now, let us assign ranks to values of x. Here, smallest most value is 10. So, we assign rank 1 to it. Second smallest most value is 20. So, we assign rank 2 to it. Next smallest most value is 32. So, we assign rank 3 to it. Next smallest most value is 37. So, we assign rank 4 to it. Next smallest most value is 43. But this 43 is repeated twice. Here and here. And we are supposed to assign rank 5 and 6 here. So we will take average of these two ranks which is 5.5. So we assign rank 5.5 to this number and this number. Next smallest most value is 49. 49 is also repeated twice. And we are supposed to give ranks 7 and 8 to these numbers. 
and average of 7 and 8 is 7.5 so assi we assign rank 7.5 to this number as well as this number the next rank is supposed to be 9 so we assign next rank to this next smallest most value which is 55 so 55 gets rank 9 and the biggest most value 60 gets the last rank which is 10 similarly we assign ranks to values of y you can pause the video and check these ranks now finally in this last column we will find square of differences of these two ranks and at the bottom we will take sum of these di squares which we found to be 176 so we see here summation di square is 176 and n is 10 now let us use this data to find out rank correlation coefficient here two values namely fifth and seventh rank in x series have equal ranks therefore we assign m1 is equal to 2 and m2 is equal to 2 similarly one value from y series namely of third rank is repeated so we assign m3 is equal to 2 now let us use this data in the formula we know r is given by 1 minus 6 into summation di square plus 1 by 12 into m1 cube minus m1 plus 1 by 12 into m2 cube minus m2 and so on upon n cube minus n substituting values for summation di square m1 m2 and m3 and n we get r is equal to minus 0 0.0758 so this is rank correlation coefficient of the given data i hope guys these four examples explicitly elaborate how to find out a rank correlation coefficient using spearman's rank correlation coefficient technique i will come up with more such interesting topic in my next video till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.